Ahead, putting big money where their mouths are, we'll tell you who's getting rich just by bloviating on the lecture circuit, and we'll give you the money they're making. It's huge. Right back. In the back of the book segment tonight, mouthing off for big dollars. <laughs> the factor has confirmed the following lecture fees. Jack Welsh, $150,000 per speech. Bill Cosby, same, $150K. Bill Clinton, $125,000 and more overseas. Rudy Giuliani, $100,000 a pop. Walter Cronkite, $100,000. Senator John Glenn, $100,000. Al Gore, $75,000. And Margaret Thatcher, $80,000. Joining us now from Boston is Mark Castell, the president of AEI Speakers Bureau. So all these people have to do is basically show up to an event um, and speak for about an hour, right? That's it, and eat some chicken or whatever they give them. Well, sometimes uh, other activities are involved. For example, a photo opportunity or uh, a meet and greet or uh, to sign some objects. So there's a, sometimes there's a few additional uh, responsibilities uh, perhaps a private dinner with uh, some of the big dignitaries. Uh, but in general, it's basically go, show up, do the speech, and collect the checks. This is, but this is the easiest money in the world. I can't believe that Jack Welsh gets $150,000, way, way more than uh, most of the politicians here. Why does he get so much money? Well, I think it's um, sort of the Elvis factor. Um, you know, everybody wants to meet Elvis. Elvis is not always around. When Elvis comes to the meeting, people show up. So they want to take their picture with Elvis and it actually draws a, a large group in. But I understand Clinton, him. if you made that comparison to Clinton, Elvis, but Jack Welsh? I mean, Jack Welsh is a very brilliant man and, and ran a company, uh, General Electric, very successfully, but why, is this businessmen groupies? Is that what this is about? Uh, well, I think that Jack is a, a, a highly articulate individual. I mean, obviously, you can't get to be uh, where he was without being able to deliver a speech or, or to talk coherently to a group. So his ability as a speaker uh, is well worth that uh, really? price tag. Really? 150K? See, I read his book, and he didn't tell me anything I didn't know. I didn't get any inside secrets. I didn't get any of that. So I'm going, eh, you know, good book. He's selling a lot of books. But I don't think Jack Welsh is the kind of guy that's going to give you anything, um, you know, shocking or stunning. All right, let's move along to Bill Cosby. I was very surprised Bill Cosby made that $150,000 a speech. Well, I think Bill Cosby makes even more to do commercial work. So 150 Yeah, all commercials I understand. But is, are Americans are that anxious to hear what Bill Cosby has to say? Well, you know, Bill, it's supply and demand. I mean, uh, it's a one-of-a-kind versus a few-of-a-kind. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of comedians out there, but there's only one Bill Cosby. People want to see Bill Cosby. Does he, does he do a lot of them? Or, I mean, is he on the road uh, knocking these babies down? Uh, I would say it's not his primary source of income, but certainly uh, Bill Cosby is out there on the circuit uh, uh, doing his uh, program. Okay, $150,000. Um, amazing. Now, uh, Walter Cronkite in his 80s. Um, again, I, is, this is just the want my picture with Walter Cronkite, big name, legendary guy. Because, again, Cronkite's not going to give you, uh, you know, Cosby at least will give you a, a funny hour. Cronkite's not going to tell you the secrets behind CBS. Is Jack Welsh going to tell you the secrets behind NBC? Well, Walter Cronkite is very unique. I mean, he's a piece of living history. If you take a look at him dating back to World War II when he was with the Stars and Stripes, he's covered every major news event since that time, including the landing on the moon. I mean, I don't think that you can go and, and say that Cosby or anybody else is a, a piece of living history. So, I mean, Mr. Cronkite has a lot to offer as being an eyewitness to history. All right, so it's a prestige thing with him. Um, people want to shake his hand and say, I met Walter Cronkite. And I think he has a lot to offer as well, talking about yeah, the historical I, events that he's seen. I don't know. I, 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 and listen, I love him and, and all of that. I've never heard Walter Cronkite, I shouldn't say never, but very rarely say anything provocative or anything insightful. He's very cautious, very cautious. Now, Al Gore, extremely cautious. He wouldn't even tell his uh, class in Columbia that, you know, what went on behind the scenes. He gets $75,000. Is he in demand, do you know? Uh, I would say that uh, certainly he gets a lot of speaking engagements being an ex-vice president. I mean, again, it goes back to uh, the supply and demand factor. Uh, you know, there are only a certain number of ex-presidents or ex-vice presidents versus uh, uh, mayors or football players or, or uh, Olympians. And I think that he is in a unique position. Uh, I mean, look at the other vice presidents that are out on the lecture circuit. And I think Al Gore has great name recognition and yeah. he would draw a crowd. 
Yeah, he will. I mean, I understand why people would go and, uh, and hear what he has to say. In the very politicians, movie stars, sports figures, of those three areas, what are people more interested in hearing about? Uh, I think it just varies according to the group. I mean, certainly um, the living legends of sports are, are very big. People want to meet Johnny Bench or people want to meet uh, some of the other players, and I think they're reasonably priced. Uh, when you say reasonably priced, Bench will get what, twenty, twenty-five thousand dollars in that range, depending upon what he's required to do. Right, and those guys do a lot of this stuff. Yeah, uh, they do it for a living. <laughs> yeah, they do it for a living, and then they sign the balls, and they sign like and this and that. So there's a big market for the people who aren't the big hitter. You know, we mentioned the big hitters here. Final question for you, John Glenn, Senator Glenn, again in his 80s. Is this space? Is that what that's all about? Well, John Glenn has had a unique career, oh, my goodness, uh, being an astronaut, being a senator, and then going back into space. I mean, uh, that's, that's a piece of history right there, and I think that uh, Mr. Glenn is, is an uh, excellent speaker to boot. Yeah, 100 grand for uh, Senator Glenn. All right, Mr. Castell, thank you very much. We appreciate that. Next, we'll wrap things up with the most ridiculous item of the day and some of your mail.